the most merciful, the most beneficent, the most gracious and many more good attributes are for him. All praises for him. Uh, I start, uh, today I want to start with, as usual, the blessings of God. It's a beautiful morning again. Man, I like this morning, this weather, this whole, my life. It's a blessing from God. I'm back. So cool. <laughs> yeah, so um, getting back to theology, focusing on natural theology, which is uh, which doesn't have any, uh, it doesn't take any inputs from scriptures. It doesn't take any inputs from um, available facts um, that are thought to be holy or from uh, servants of God, from uh, enlightenment of uh, individuals uh, who worked for God. So it, it's completely, they excluded all that thing and they just have everything from philosophical stand of mind, which is based on reason, natural theology is based on reason, which is good, I like it. You want reason? Yeah, that's a good thing because you're applying God's given capabilities to you to get to the bottom of it, to understand God better, which is good, which is a good endeavor, but you are limiting yourself inside a box. Um, natural theology is in, uh, limiting yourself in, inside a box, t not t looking into certain pieces of information, which are called scriptures, uh, are uh, from people, individuals who have been enlightened, like uh, all the prophets of Abrahamic faith, uh, Abraham, uh, Noah, and then Jesus, all these figures were part of uh, Bible or Hebrew Bible, Holy Bible or Hebrew Bible, uh, which is also holy, and then Quran and other uh, 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 books. So all these they don't want to look at, which is like limiting yourself. Uh, you are not going into spiritual sciences, and uh, you know, so which is kind of absurd. I mean science has to open up its mind. I mean, it is limiting itself, which is very, uh, I mean, it's not, there's no freedom in science. That's uh, what I feel. I mean, yeah. Whereas uh, people who are from religious, uh, spiritual, who read the scriptures, they're open to science. They do uh, scholarly work, they do research, and they co uh, understand science. They put it, uh, they wrote a lot of, there are a lot of Christian, Muslim scientists and Jewish scientists uh, and Judaist scientists uh, who did a lot of good work. For example, um, we have um, a lot of uh, uh, Christian scientists um, uh, like Newton and uh, a lot of, uh, man, I'm not drinking, yeah. So, uh, uh, like uh, Newton and then. Um, they were uh, uh, Muslim uh, scientists like uh, Ibn Rushd, like uh, Abyssina, and uh, then there are they were philosophers like uh, Ghazali, um, and then uh, they were uh, a lot of uh, they did a lot of work in calculus, in mathematics, in uh, um, what you call uh, astrology. And a lot of sciences, man, it was cool. I mean, when Jesus was born, people knew a lot of stuff. There were a lot of believers who looked at the stars, who looked at the signs in the uh, sky and determined Jesus is born and Jesus is born in a certain place. Okay, you don't want to uh, agree to that because you don't believe in that because uh, uh, you want to, I mean, for whatever reason, you don't see a proof uh, that that miracle of Jesus' birth has happened. Uh, then, uh, okay, I'll, I'll leave that. But uh, coming back to natural theology, it's based on reason and anything that can, can be proved by science only, not by, uh, and that science is limited to uh, the physical science, physics, chemistry, and certain sciences, not the spiritual sciences, which is absurd. But anyway, uh, that's uh, there's no freedom uh, in the scientists uh, uh, and their scholastic work and then uh, their research uh, because uh, they are limiting themselves to certain things. They are not going into spiritual sciences, yeah, which is absurd. But anyway, I'll just go by their standards um, because 
they are part of this world and we share the world with them and then I'm happy to be with them uh, uh, you know talking th to them you know, on good subjects uh, not bad like I don't I don't like certain features that a lot of scientists believe in uh, who are atheists uh, by the way so I don't have a common ground with atheists uh, as much as ha I have with uh, uh, people of belief but anyway I but that doesn't put uh, them I don't put them on under dog without any reason I have certain reasons when I do that but um, yeah uh, but because they have limited knowledge that's the problem uh, they don't open up they don't have freedom to expand into spiritual sciences that's the problem they don't have freedom uh, they are restricting themselves by themselves nobody's forcing them they are doing it by themselves which is absurd but anyway coming back to natural theology okay so my i'm back cool natural theology cool science is cool Religion is awesome. Religion of Abraham is awesome, man. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Science is cool, but it's all part of what God created. So, when I say science is cool, I'm saying what God created, the intricacies, the uh, complexities, and uh, the uh, uh, variety, and then uh, expansive nature of science and uh, this whole universe, and everything is so complex, so interesting, so. Uh, so much to discover so yeah I mean it's all when I say science is good I mean science is all God's work so God's work is good but again coming back to natural theology theology I like the word theology it sounds like melody to me by now I started uh, it was alien to me when I first started and then now it's like becoming melody melody so I'm like Music, it's music for me. Anyway, coming back, I don't want to waste, yeah, I'm garbling my words because I don't want to waste your time. So natural theology also termed of psychotheology because it's all, uh, as, yeah, uh, physical, uh, our physical theology or psychotheology, however they pronounce it, some people say psycho, I, I, I don't know what that is, but I call it physical, uh, I, I want to call it physical. It's a type of theology and deism, uh, it's a deism because we are talking about the deity, right? Uh, but you are not going through scriptural uh, path, but you are going through scientific, uh, quote unquote scientific, which is non-scriptural, uh, you know, fear, you know, which is uh, limited uh, science. So limited scientific uh, 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 arguments, and uh, 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 you know, it's uh, basically touching the existence of deity, um, reason by reason, and discoveries of science. The uh, project of arguing uh, for the existence of God on the basis of observed so-called natural facts, which are not, uh, uh, not spiritual. Spiritual is also part of natural, but when they say natural facts, it's only natural per their definition. Uh, which is a limited definition. And uh, through natural phenomenon, uh, yeah, they say the light is a natural uh, phenomenon, heat is a natural phenomenon, though you can't see it. And uh, though you, you can only gauge it, or, uh, it's abundantly available. But there are spiritual uh, sciences which are not abundantly available in day-to-day -day life. You can see light every day. But uh, spiritual sciences, you have to dig to get to that. So that they don't want to dig and um, because they're afraid of religion. Yeah, I don't know what's the reason, but I think that's the primary reason. And, um, and, uh, and uh, they are afraid of the religion, which is they are afraid of the distorted religion by Satan, you know, if they believe Satan exists, which I believe a lot of uh, scientists believe Satan exists. Uh, and they bash God, they don't bash Satan because uh, I've seen them talking against uh, Christianity, Judaism, Islam, uh, many other religions like, uh, but uh, even Eastern religions, uh, they talk bad about that, but uh, nobody talk bad about Satanism. Uh, either they consider it not a religion or they are sympathetic to it or I, I don't know whatever reason they so well, for example so uh, the, that's uh, satanism is one example which uh, puts them into the dark when i say i put them into the dark on certain areas they are mute on satanism which is i mean i don't know why they are mute on satanism when satanism you know a lot of uh, uh, rituals uh, like uh, sacrifice of uh, 
and uh, not just sacrifice i mean it's a very crude form of sacrifice uh, yeah that they don't talk about it yeah so i don't know what's going on there uh, why atheists mm -hmm. are so uh, keeping it as a black box and only targeting um, abraham face so they are uh, a little prejudiced or partial or uh, on their standing on uh, those uh, parts of uh, uh, spiritual uh, sciences and uh, religion to be specific yeah yeah so phenomenon viewed as divine uh, yeah observed so-called natural facts and through natural phenomenon viewed as divine so uh, the natural uh, phenomenon like wind yeah i mean so for some it's divine because it's moving uh, i'll come to it uh, in a bit so uh, evidence of a divine and it shows a lot of things shows evidence of a divine plan so that's more one reason and it has started i mean uh, this whole uh, talk about this uh, dyism natural theology started a few hundreds ago 300 years ago uh, for in the last millennium that's it and uh, late last millennium so for example one uh, scientist or uh, one philosopher who uh, who is uh, called joseph rafson he called, uh, he uh, thought about God outside, uh, inside, uh, outside of religious connotations, spiritual sciences, and he said, okay, I'm going to talk about God inside a box. I don't want to expand my box. So he said, okay, uh, he, and he coined the word uh, pantheism. Pantheism means nothing but belief that all that exists and the way it's producing and moving and causing events causing each other like uh, um, you know uh, uh, river flowing and then uh, uh, that is causing cleaving of uh, rocks as well as uh, that's uh, the simplest example but even the movement of sun and then uh, around its uh, path uh, and then the earth moving around the sun while moving around that uh, path uh, which is which will make it a spiral movement for Earth uh, while going around the sun because uh, Earth is uh, in a gravitational sphere. Uh, so, um, yeah, I mean, so that's all uh, they say is caused by a phenomenon that can be explained by science, uh, which they didn't explain so far because a lot of things, like I said, are... As you look deeper into and deeper into it, they are may, becoming more complex, more mysterious, more um, uh, unfathomable. Uh, under, I mean, you have to have, I don't know when they will be able to fathom. Uh, maybe they need more time, a few more centuries, uh, because uh, in the 300 centuries since pantheism word was coined, nothing has happened that has conclusively said or there is no empirical data which pantheism is based on uh, which says natural facts uh, and scientific facts so there are no scientific facts which would determine conclusively what's actually happening in the universe so but all that process and everything itself is divine that's what they say and um, so you can't call pantheism uh, atheism because uh, uh, when they call it divine, uh, I mean, uh, it itself says there is something godly uh, feature in it, which again brings back to religion. So, yeah, uh, I mean, so the works of atheists are not ex exclusively atheist for the word of it, but it, they are um, pseudo atheists are uh, I, they're not 100 percent i don't know uh, yeah but they call it part of atheism but pantheism is a word um, uh, maybe uh, it's uh, something named as atheist by religious people uh, because uh, they are not following their religion or a specific uh, definition of religion which is uh, again uh, so you, you don't have it's all in the line is all in the sand so, yeah. Yeah, and then um, these are all. Uh, so, uh, Joseph Rafson, uh, he said uh, uh, in his book, he distinction between atheistic uh, and uh, which is uh, based on all and matter. 
So it's based on matter uh, who believed everything derived from matter and pantheists who believe in a certain universal substance materials as well as intelligent that fashions all things that exist of its own essence. So it's out of its own essence uh, and it's intelligent. So it's uh, like uh, this whole uh, universe is out of its own essence. So he's trying to understand universe without the scripture. So that's why uh, there is some limitation in understanding. I uh, So if I were in his shoes, probably I'll come up with a similar theory, uh, but I would be more open to look at uh, the spiritual sciences, but that's a different case. Okay, if I were abhorrent to and restricting myself, I won't have the freedom to look into that. I would be a slave of my own ego or something then I would look at uh, the religious uh, scriptures and limit myself to that area. And then in that sense, then I'll try to explain the universe. And then I would have probably come up with a similar theory saying that this whole thing, you know, it's so complex. It's God's handiwork is so complex that the handiwork itself looks divine. So you can imagine how uh, divine God is, how bigger God is, uh, if the sun's orbiting, the earth's movement, everything is so complex and it looks, it, it itself looks, uh, you know, so complex and divine and intelligent. Then you, God is, is so intelligent, which you haven't seen. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's all. But yeah, that's what uh, he coined the word uh, Joseph Raphson. Uh, you know, without looking into religious scripture, uh, he did try to understand um, the divine nature, I mean, the uh, whole complexity, and he thought the complexity itself is God. So like, for example, people create a lot of God. So when they looked at something divine, they looked at sun, oh, they said, okay, it gives a lot of sunlight. Man, that's so div so good. I mean, it comes every this uh, every morning sunlight. Everything grows off of it, and the trees, plants, uh, they all get life from sun. A lot of there is life existence because of sun. So they started praying to sun. So his he's a little bit uh, intelligent. Uh, Joseph Rasson. So he didn't pray to sun, but he could look beyond the sun and earth and everything. So he's a little bit intelligent guy than normal people who created gods uh, based on sun, earth, wind, fire, water, tree, animals, um, super beings, literature, mythological, uh, imaginary, and um, uh, rumored canards and all the based on that a lot of people created a lot but he's so intelligent so he said i'm a little bit better than you guys i'm gonna come up with a new theory and that theory is a little bit complex to understand but it's based on the same concept where people look at something that's happening which is so intelligent and finely designed intricately designed so complex and so accurate and so uh, everything is dependent on that system so they think that itself that whole system itself is divine so that implicitly says that even those scientists who coined the word pantheism they also agree that there is something divine so even though they don't do say it so they are defeating their own argument so yeah, but anyway, if I were in their shoes without looking at, uh, if uh, the light of God hasn't reached me, the scriptures, I won't look at the scriptures and do my own work from scratch without looking at that and restricting myself egoistically or non-scholastically, um, you know, I put an axe on my own branch on which I'm standing and do that work, then I'll probably come up with this theory. Uh, but uh, no offense to them, but this is my, my all my uh, refutations, all my uh, comments are based on scholarly discussion. I'm not just bashing them without any base. I have a lot of everything I'm saying has a platform or it holds a lot of water. Uh, not unlike a lot of people who say, okay, religion is bad because there is corruption. It doesn't hold any water, you know, so you can clean the corruption, you know, so yeah. But God is great, and I believe in his sciences. I don't restrict myself to, I don't want to do this. Oh, man, I don't want to, yeah, because there's a lot of corruption. Ah, oh, no, I'm not um, 
very uh, tender TLC guy. Uh, I'm like hard go-getter. So I go into all the sciences. I don't restrict myself into useless banter and um, restricting yourself to a little piece of information and doing your research. I want to expand my horizons. That, and I ask all the scientists, do it, guys. Go to all the places you can go, go into spiritual sciences and then reconcile. Don't, don't just be into your own eggshell. Uh, and then into your own well, the frog in the well, like the frog in the well, you know, he doesn't know what the world is outside. So you don't limit yourself to just natural theology, go into spiritual um, uh, sciences too and incorporate them and reconcile, try to reconcile them. Then you'll be more enlightened. Uh, I don't know, I'm not asking you to uh, do all the uh, people who are godly do, uh, but at least in your scholastic, be uh, scholastic endeavors, be open, don't limit yourself, have the freedom, yeah, and uh, do that, I mean, don't restrict yourself, you're limiting science and everything by doing that, and go and expand yourself, you'll have a lot of wisdom, yeah, knowledge is not everything, wisdom, and wisdom comes through uh, uh, the influence of uh, spiritual sciences and with the help of God. Now, if you don't believe in God, but at, at least if you learn and you know, look into a spiritual science, you will get wisdom with an open mind. Look with an open mind and embrace what you come across. So yeah, likewise, there was, um, yeah, phantom is a belief of uh, that reality, the universe and the cosmos are identical to divinity and the supreme being or entity pointing to the universe as being an immanent creator, deity, who is uh, creating all the time and expanding and creating, which has existed since the beginning of time and regarding the universe as manifestation of deity and uh, manifestation of deity. So, yeah. So, everywhere they are talking about God. So, even though they are atheists, they are talking about God. And then um, there is also Gnostic uh, cosmology. Uh, it says... Uh, distinct supreme hidden god god is hidden yeah that we know that i right from day one i have been saying nobody has seen god he's hidden you can experience god that's the thing and these guys are uh, putting all the research work for centuries and coming up with something adam Jesus, David, all the prophets in the Hebrew Bible and the Holy Bible, and then Quran, Holy Quran, and the Torah, and all the scripture, the Job, uh, uh, Job uh, is uh, Ayub alayhi salam, peace be upon all the prophets uh, and their families. So all the all of them have already told them, and they don't. They come up with a new thing like they're. I mean, this is craziness of uh, heights of ignorance. Science shouldn't be ignorant and limited. That's what I tell. I mean, I don't. I, I, scientists are good. Uh, I mean, atheists are uh, also uh, good in certain areas, restricted areas. So that I appreciate them, uh, atheists, but they're gone wrong in many other areas which i i want to tell bash uh, if you want to call it bashing or whatever you know i i tell it holding war i mean my my reason my topics hold water to it that's the thing and then um yeah uh, everything i say is going forth is actually everybody is talking about god not explicitly but implicitly when they say all their creation and their working is inherently divine and imminent divine which is uh, at the same time not limited and not finite but expanding and creating as it goes um, about every uh, in space and time so yeah it's all says uh, yeah there is some uh, uh, thing that people don't understand and uh, they call it intelligent and uh, hidden yeah so uh, everything brings us bring brings back to our own theological experience so come back uh, to the word of god read the scriptures you don't have to believe in scriptures read the scripture open up your horizons in your scientific work and get that uh 
um, that uh, put that punch into science and do all this good scientific work. I want to be a scientist, bro. To be honest, um, people and all the good people, ladies, gentlemen, kids, uh, babies, everybody who is watching this video, I want to be a scientist, but I, uh, there are many things I want to do. That's the problem. The problem is I want to be a singer. I want to be a scientist. I want to be a theologian. I want to be a uh, mathematician. I want to be a physicist. I want to be a astronomer. I want to be a, a good um, skateboarder. Yeah. And then I want to be a basketball player. I want to be, man, I want to be a soccer player. I want to be a good uh, coffee and hard drink drinker and relax relaxer. So it's a prof profession, I don't know, but uh, that sounds to me a profession, drinking hot tea or coffee or milk and relaxing. It's a profession to me. Sometimes I do it. It's my hobby. And then the other thing is I <laughs> I want to do a lot of good stuff, bro. Uh, I want to do skateboarding. I want to do uh, what not. I want to do everything. I want to do rap. Yo, baby. Yo, baby. Yeah, I like it. But um, yeah, but I I can't do everything. That's the problem. I don't have time on my hands. Yeah, but whatever time I find, I would try to put to use. I want to be a good learner. I want to research a lot of stuff, do a lot the lot of good stuff, and do that yada yada. And uh, I want to bash people who are wrong. That's why why I want to bash. I, I I don't like bashing people, but why I don't want to. I want to bash because for the ultimate good. Uh, I want to make the society better at some level. With some, uh, you know, whatever I can do, I can. Uh, if whatever means I have, I want to do that. I don't want to bash personally uh, any particular person, an atheist or anybody, but I want to do that for the humanity, humanity. And by the way, I'll come to the humanity piece of uh, theology, where a lot of people think, oh, we want to have uh, humanity. Humanity is the best religion. Yeah, that's uh, that's something I'll touch. And uh, I, 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 I'll touch everything critically. So for some people, it might look bashing. But all my theological theses and all my reasoning is based on something. It's not just bashing without any uh, 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 without any base, without any platform, like a lot of uh, atheists and scientists are doing, who are saying religion, there is a lot of corruption. Where is, wherever there, there is man, there is corruption. Wherever there are hypocrites, wherever there is evil, there is corruption. So why, you don't want to live in this world because there is corruption. Because for every good guy, there is a bad guy somewhere, uh, some sign ill uh, with some ill feeling so yeah don't do that and uh, be honest be open be scientific and may god bless all the people who are looking for knowledge and guidance uh, shalom Sh salam alaikum and catch you later have a good one bye